Welcome to Everyday Happiness, where we create lasting happiness in about two minutes a day through my signature method of intentional margins, creating harmony between your to-dos and your priorities, happiness science, and musings about life. I'm your host, Katie Jeffcoat, and I just wanted to say thanks. Giving thanks can be so simple, and yet it just slips by. How many times have you thought about going out of your way to say thanks and write that Yelp review for excellent service, but you get distracted or too busy? We're missing opportunities to give gratitude all day long. If you work with others, the research says that giving thanks actually helps employee productivity. Makes perfect sense, right? We want to reward good behavior and get more of it. This is what I think makes exceptional nonprofits really stand out above the crowd. It's their massive gratitude for their volunteers. I invite you to write a thank you note. Not only can it make you happier, we've learned that kindness for others boosts our own happiness, but sharing with another person your appreciation of their impact on your life, big or small, boosts their happiness too. Pop it in the mail or deliver it in person. I'm working on making a habit of sending at least one gratitude letter a month and a bunch of kindness cards every single week. And I invite you to join me. But in the meantime, if you've enjoyed at all listening to Everyday Happiness, we're in our second year of production, which just seems so crazy. Uh, Please share it with a friend. Share it with your networks. I'd be so grateful and If you want a fun kindness card postcard, which are so much fun to write and receive, uh, head on over to my kindness shop. It's katiejeffcoat.com, where we've created the most brilliant, amazing postcards. Well, at least I think so. Humbly think that. So inspiration for this episode and the research mentioned is all in the show notes. It comes from a 2011 article from the Harvard Health. 